Okay, well, welcome back to the fourth quarter. Um, since we've last seen each other, a lot has changed. Um, I never would have expected anything like this would have happened in my lifetime. And so this is all new for us. So hopefully we are making the best. Um, this is a picture from downtown on Mass Street, the Granada. Stay strong, Lawrence. Be kind, be well. And I hope that all of you are doing well and being kind. So in this first video for our first week, um, I'm just going to talk about a couple things. So first of all, what's been going on in my life? Second is going to be kind of the expectations and what we will be doing uh, this last eight weeks of the fourth quarter. And then our first assignment, which shouldn't be too difficult. It should be kind of fun, but it will allow us just to get in practice of using Google Docs, our camera, and Google Classroom. And a lot of this should be review for most of you. Okay, so what has been going on in my life? So things are really weird. Um, my wife has been working from home the last couple of weeks. Um, she has a table with all of her stuff. They brought her computer, everything. And so here she is, she's been working um, in our front room the last couple of weeks, uh, doing her HR stuff and everything else. And then over here is Grayson, and this is pretty much exactly what he's been doing. He's been playing on the iPad. We've done some other stuff, and he's been doing some school things, but that is pretty much it. Um, we have been watching a lot of Netflix, Hulu, Disney+, Plus, and then every night we've been trying to play a board game together or do something together as a family. Um, Sometimes it's just watching a movie. Sometimes it's just been chilling or sometimes me and Grayson will play something else. Um, <clears throat> we have really haven't gone a lot. The place is really doing anything. We've been pretty much in our house most of the time just because of the whole coronavirus. Um, last thing is uh, it's really funny. Uh, Miss Busby asked me to take Amelia home just for the week. And now it looks like we are going to have Amelia at least until August. So we don't have any pets. So Grayson was just really excited to have Amelia just for the week. But now it looks like Amelia is going to be a temporary part of our family. So that is what's been going on in my life. Um, hopefully with the activity, we'll get to share some things that has been going on in your lives. Um, but I will tell you deeply that I miss um, you guys, um, this whole situation is just really, really weird, and it's impacting a lot of people. Um, I sent a thing out for our current events Google Classroom just for stuff for people to do, and it's impacting a lot of people. And so hopefully we're just kind of going with this and living in what's kind of this new norm. So let's go ahead and let's talk about what we'll be doing the eight weeks. So fourth quarter in seventh grade social studies is typically Kansas history. And just because of everything that's going on, this year is going to be a lot different than in previous years. And that is because what you are living and what we are all experiencing is a very historical event. Um, people that your children, your grandchildren, are going to read about this event in history books. And because of that, we are going to do something a little bit different. You will be doing journals and creating primary sources. And in addition, we'll be looking at primary sources uh, throughout Kansas history. And I'll talk a little bit more about this next week, but that just kind of gives you an idea of what we are doing. What you need to know about the class. So the class will be using three things. There are three things that we are going to be using a lot. And that is, first of all, Google Classroom, just like we've done throughout the year. You will be needing Google Classroom to see your assignments, to upload your assignments, then I'll have everything there. Everything will be done in Google Docs. So Google Docs where you'll be providing most of your answers to assignments. So you'll be putting your answers there or images or whatever it is, you'll be putting it to a Google Doc and submitting it. And then lastly, all of the instruction or everything that I'll be doing will be in YouTube. So that'll be different. Where is Google Classroom and Google Docs? This should all be something that you are familiar with and you know um, how to use. So what do you do? 
So what you'll need to do is first of all, is every day or every week, you will go into Google Classroom and in Google Classroom each week, I will have a video where I will give you instructions or let you know about the information you need for that assignment. Now I will upload this video every Sunday night for you to have for that week for your class. In addition to the video, I will also give you instructions on the assignment that you will need to do. So some of those instructions will be in the video and then some of those instructions will also be in Google Classroom. So that way, um, hopefully you understand what it is that we are going to do. Okay, so when will assignments be due? So assignments are going to be due the day before we have class. So this gives you approximately a week to go ahead and finish the assignment. So if you have class on Tuesday, so if you are in second period, okay, you have class on Tuesday. So that means that the assignment will be due by Monday of the next week, okay? So that way you have a whole week to do this. If you have class on Monday, which means you have this first period, then the assignment is due by Sunday of the next week, okay? Um, so if you're in seventh period, uh, it'll be due Tuesday, and if you're in eighth period, it'll be due Wednesday. So that way everybody has a complete week to finish the assignment. Um, when does it have to be turned in on Tuesday or Wednesday? You know, just as long as you have it in by that time. I will try to grade these um, as soon as possible, your assignments, so that way you know what it is that you need. Okay, so pretty simple. If you have questions or you're not sure, just remember whatever day you have class, the assignment is due the day before you have class the next week. So you have a whole week to do this. What if I'm having problems? So if you are having problems, I am gonna have office hours every day, Monday through Friday, from 11 a.m. to 12 p.m. And then I'll also be available those that same days from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. So that's two hours a day where you can get in contact with me. If you want to email me, I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. So, and that's even if it's not within the office hours. If you go ahead and send me an email at like seven or eight o'clock at night, typically I'm pretty quick at responding to you. So I will go ahead and give you an email, okay? Um, call me during office hours. So I have set up a Google Voice number, okay? And that's the number there. So that way, if we actually need to talk or do whatever, um, we can do that. That's my Google Voice number. Um, I just ask that you don't call, um, after 8 p.m. or before 8 a.m., um, but mostly through those office hours, we can touch base and we can go over it. And then also, this has been pushed out to your iPads, but it's a thing called Zoom. A lot of people are using Zoom, even teachers. Um, I had a Zoom meeting yesterday and today, um, and this is something so we can like video chat with each other. So if you need me to show me stuff and, and see if you're doing it right, I can tell you with that. Um, and so those are three different ways that we can touch base and do it. If those times don't work, so if you are watching siblings and you can't really work on stuff till after your parents get home, five or six o'clock, and you need to do it later, that's fine. Just email me and we can set up a time and I will meet with you and help you to do this. So please email me, please come talk to me, whatever I can to help you. I am more than willing to help you, okay? You just need to go ahead and reach out to me, okay? I'm trying to be available as much as possible to help you, okay? So let's talk about the assignment for this week, okay? So the assignment of this week is something very simple. It is going to be a Google Doc there in Google Classroom, and there's several different items it asks you to find. And so what you're going to do is in this Google Doc, it's going to ask you for things and you're going to take a picture or screenshot of an image and you're going to put it underneath the answer. And then if you need to, you're going to write a description. Okay, very simple. Just take a picture, go ahead and add that and put it underneath. So let me give you an example. So question number three of your scavenger hunt asks you for a picture of your favorite snack food. So my, one of my favorite snack foods, and I don't know, maybe it's a dessert, is I really like Klondike bars. 
And I, as you guys know, I'm diabetic, so I really like to get Klondike bars when I can. Um, but here's a picture I took of me and Grayson. I put, we love Klondike bars. So that's an example of what you would do for question number three. So question six, ask for a picture of a foreign country you'd like to visit. So a foreign country that I would really like to visit is Spain. And so I went into uh, Google, did a search of maps of Spain, and I just took a picture and I put it in there and I said, here's a picture of a place that I would like to visit. And I put in Spain. So the scavenger hunt, it's pretty simple. Uh, both Miss uh, Man and myself worked on this and it's just something simple for us to do to get back into the swing of things. And these are things that you're going to be needing to know how to use, is to use Google Docs, your camera roll, and then ultimately how to turn this in into Google Classroom, okay? Okay, so one last final word is we are all in an uncharted territory. All of this is new, and so all of us are going to need to be a little patient. Sometimes technology is not going to work. Sometimes maybe things are not going to go the way we expect it. Um, sometimes maybe my instructions may not be clear to you. So I just ask that you're patient. Um, the most important thing you can do is reach out to me, and I will try my best to be um just patient and try to help you as best as I can. And so if there's anything I could say, ladies and gentlemen, it's that you've got this and that together we will get through the next eight weeks. And hopefully, um, if anything, you will create something that'll be awesome and will still help you develop the skills that you're going to need going into eighth grade next year in U.S. history. So really quick, I love you guys. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and seeing the results of your scavenger hunt. If you need to get in touch with me, please go ahead and do so. Have a great day. Bye.